And don't forget to give the visit a <laughs> Hey, what's going on you guys? So we are on the road right now. No, this is not a vlog, a vlog, even though it seems that way. This is just an intro to what you saw on the title. It is a butternut squash mash and it's so yummy. It actually was one of those like recipes that I sort of like whipped up to see how it turned out and it turned out really good so I am sharing it with you, with you guys. So if you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, it looks like this, and the little notification bell next to it so you'll be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So yeah, let's get veggie. Alright guys, so this recipe, like I said, we are winging it. So I'm going to go ahead and add about a tablespoon of butter into our, into our pot. And I know I want this to be nice and garlicky, so I'm going to go ahead and add four garlic cloves that have been mashed or minced, or go, mashed them and minced them. And I'm going to go ahead and put our heat to about a medium high. And we're just going to move this around a little bit until it becomes nice and fragrant, because I don't want raw taste in our mash. Alright, and I think these puppies are good to go. So I actually have a bowl of uh, roasted butternut squash uh, that I already made. Uh, this was from the butternut squash, like stuffed butternut squash recipe that I did uh, two days ago. And it's just sitting on my, on my fridge and I didn't want it to like, go bad, so I had to use it. And this is a medium size. And I'm thinking, I want this to be creamy, so I'm going to go ahead and add a fourth of a cup of uh, vegetable stock. And I'm also going to add a fourth of a cup of unsweetened almond milk. I think I'm going to crank up the heat a little and get stuff flowing in here. I'm just make, making sure the liquid and all that is like nice and mixed up. That way uh, we know how much liquid and all that stuff we need to add, if we need to add any more. I think it's good on liquid and I know I want this to be very nice and creamy. And my secret weapon, you guys, for creamy vegan food, anything you want to add like a creaminess to it, I always go for non-dairy cream cheese. Like this is like my go-to for all creamy things. So I just did a fourth of a cup of non-dairy cream cheese and I'm going to do another tablespoon of butter in there. And I'm going to go ahead and lower our heat. Bring our heat down to a low since everything is nice and heated up already. What next? What next? And I'm going to add some herbs in there. And I know that thyme and sage goes good in there with butternut squash. So I'm going to go ahead and add some, uh, some thyme. So I would say about a teaspoon of thyme and half a teaspoon of sage. Just kind of mix that up. I'm going to go ahead and practice a little sprinkle of pepper and a nice sprinkling of coarse sea salt. I think that's all we need. Let's give it a taste. I think it's safe to say that we can go with another like half a teaspoon of sage and another sprinkling of salt. So I'm thinking we need a little acidity to break through the sweetness. So I went ahead and added one teaspoon of uh, lemon juice and one tablespoon of lemon zest. And that should do the trick. Now let's give it a try. Oh yeah, that's it. So you guys can go ahead and add like some more salt and pepper if you like at this point. I might add a little bit more salt and like a, a touch more pepper. Um, but this is ready to go. This is actually really, really good. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also, share this video so other people can see how delicious vegan food could be. And yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon.